It is currently uh, Monday, March 14th, as I'm recording this, and as of today, it has officially been exactly one month since I started my practice routine. The same one that I put together to be the best practice routine that I've ever used. Now, I've stuck to this routine religiously for the past month. I've practiced every single day. So today, we're just going to run through any aspects of it that stand out to me, any parts of it that might need to be updated, as well as taking a look at the areas in which I feel I've improved since the beginning. Firstly though guys, let me just say welcome back to the channel. Uh, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, the general idea of everything that we do here is based around uh, guitar and music betterment. Um, basically just discovering new ways in which we can improve together. So if that sounds like something you'd like to be a part of, you know what to do. Um, but if not, I'll just take this opportunity to say uh, thanks for watching. And I really hope there's something in this video that you're able to learn from. But, alright, let's keep going. It's really hot. <laughs> For a more in-depth rundown and reminder of the structure of my practice routine, you guys can click the pop-up, which will take you to my previous video when I put it all together. But to sum it up as concisely as I can, my routine is as follows. First, I begin with a 15-minute warm-up in which I play whatever I feel inclined to. Then I move into four 15-minute units of essentials, four of eight overall essentials, which rotate on a daily basis, which I'll put on screen now just as a general reminder. And then I finish with a 15-minute unit of improvising in which I try and incorporate everything that I was previously looking at. So now let's just jump straight into the overall changes that I'm going to be making to the structure. Firstly, I'm going to be changing the schedule of the rotating essentials to a fixed first and second day system, which I'll put on screen now. And you can see that I've evenly split the theory-based essentials with the more practical-based essentials, just so each day I'm covering both. Next, I'm going to be removing the 15-minute warm-up at the beginning. This is just because around my practice routine, every day I play guitar, and at the moment it just feels a little bit unnecessary and counterproductive. And finally, I'm going to be adding an extra five minutes to exercises, techniques, scales, and arpeggios. This is because at the moment I feel like the time that I spend on them doesn't necessarily cover the depth that I would like it to. And I'll also be adding an extra five minutes to improvising as well. This is just because I could always do with some more time spent on improvising and adding that extra five minutes rounds off the total time for the overall practice routine at a nice tidy 90 minutes. To move on to breaking down how I feel I've improved since starting the routine, I thought what I'd look at is the very specific areas that I knew I needed to improve when I first began putting it all together. So those specifics were, and I've written them down here because I didn't want to miss anything, my pull-off strength and competence, my overall playing speed, my picking accuracy and discipline, using double stops in my playing and being more accurate in my bends, reminding myself of the expanded positions of all scales, uh, that's pentatonic, natural major minor, modes, etc. Arpeggios in general, and all things related to theory, ear training, and sight reading. Starting with pull-offs, I think there's definitely more clarity in how I'm playing them now. I've been playing them alongside my hammer-ons to try and bring them all up to the same kind of level of competence. And I've been rotating between using fingers 1, 2, and 4, and 1, 3, and 4, like so. something I've also been focusing on is trying to relax a lot of the tension in my left hand, uh, which I think I'm definitely making progress with. For my overall playing speed, I think that genuinely just practicing every day has actually had quite a significant impact, just because it means that when I go to pick up my guitar, my hand is very relaxed and very loose. And running different exercises and scales has really opened up different positions and shapes, which lead to faster playing. And that leads me to my next aspect, which is picking. With picking, I've been trying economy picking for the first time. And honestly, my progress with it is a little slow. But what I've been doing is just working on it as I've been practicing scales and arpeggios and everything like that, just so I can build up a sort of base confidence and competence with it. For double stops, I've been looking at mostly just country and blues licks. 
just to sort of familiarize myself with different positions and ways that I can use it in my own playing. Um, and it also helps that the majority of them rely on hybrid picking as well. So it's kind of a two birds, one stone situation. And for bends, I found a really great exercise on fret jam, which I'll link below, which uh, takes the pentatonic scale and it just breaks down the different notes that you're bending from and bending to. And that just allows me to familiarize myself with the different notes so that I'm no longer guessing. For all things relating to scales, there's definite improvement there. I've just been expanding my knowledge of the different positions around them so that I can be more aware of where I can go as I'm playing. And I've also become a little bit more familiar with the harmonic and the melodic minor scales as well. arpeggios and this was a very important one because I've never really looked into arpeggios specifically. So what I've been doing is I've just been running all the positions for the major, the dominant seventh, the major seventh, the minor, the minor seventh, and there is another one and I can't think of it. Okay, turns out there wasn't another one. Um, but in general what I've just been focusing on is getting those positions under my fingers. And for now I'm just taking my first note from the root, but I'll be expanding to using other degrees of the arpeggio in future, just once I'm a little bit more uh, comfortable with the root positions. And for all things relating to theory, I've just been steadily working my way through the different books with uh, theory, sight reading, ear training and whatnot. Um, so I think it's easy to say that I've definitely made some improvements there than since when I started. So overall, I think I'm pretty happy with where things are at the moment. There's definitely areas that I could maybe be improving faster in. There's parts of the practice routine that could maybe be updated a little bit further as well, but I think that the changes that I've made today should take steps towards addressing that. If there was one takeaway from all of this, it would be that I don't think I've ever truly appreciated the importance of practicing every single day. The way that you approach your instrument, the way that you play and how you feel when you're playing, it's, it's entirely different. You don't feel stiff almost, and that has a very significant impact on your overall performance. So that's something I definitely recommend, is just taking a few minutes to work out the kinks and kind of dust off the cobwebs for the day before you properly dive in to start playing because it really does make a difference. And finally, those of you that have been following my videos will know that my immediate goal in music is to pass my grade eight exam in electric guitar. That's part of the reason I structured my routine the way that I did so that it would cover all of the things that are gonna be in the test. And when I started the routine, I'll be honest, I was a little bit concerned. I felt as though maybe I'd overestimated the time that it would take for me to improve. But honestly, after running this routine for a month and just seeing the, the difference in how I feel when I play, how I approach my instrument, I'm, I'm not as concerned anymore. I really can't overstate the difference that just having a structured routine in place makes for your overall confidence and assuredness with your instrument. So if that's something that you're struggling with at the moment, I cannot recommend enough that you just take a little bit of time to put together something that works for you. Even if it's just 15 minutes every second or third day, just something that works for you because I promise it will make a difference. But that about does it for today, guys. As always, I hope that there was something in this video that was useful to you guys. I hope there was something you were able to learn from. Uh, if there was, please let me know down below. Uh, same if you have any tips or tricks or suggestions or anything to do with practice routine related stuff, uh, let me know because I would genuinely love to hear from you. But otherwise, just thanks for sticking around and I will see you guys in a bit.